Welcome to Inworm Road and Pirates TV. I'm your presenter and commentator, Scott Mitchell, for the evening. And I'm doing a bit more this evening. There's a few changes to the Pirates TV lineup tonight for, it's, for, for the first time. Nigel Leahy, our track announcer, our main man on the centre green, he's unfortunately ill tonight. So Rob Dyer steps up to his place, so he gets a promotion. That means I get a promotion and I can do a few interviews in the pits. So, what are we bringing to you tonight here on Pirates TV? I'll tell you what we're bringing. We're bringing you the Paul Pirates, who are in third place in the championship, take on the Glasgow Tigers, who are in the second place in the championship. Glasgow Tigers have a meeting in hand on the Pirates at a four points ahead. So this is a very important meeting at home for the Pirates. What have the Pirates been up to? Well, we had Berwick at home, which was on the British Speedway Network, uh, which was a 45-all draw. And last weekend, uh, on Friday, we were away at Edinburgh and we lost 49-41. That all went down to the last three heats. 14 points for Edinburgh in the last three heats. Killed the Pirates off. And then in the other meeting, we went on Saturday to Berwick and that was a 45-all draw. The luck went our way that time. Bomber had a big uh, engine failure in the last heat, giving Pirates the draw. So, what have the Tigers been up to? Well, I'll tell you what they've been up to. They've been beating Leicester at home, scoring 57 points. And Leicester are top of the table. So no mean feat, and they went away to Birmingham and also racked up 57 points. So tonight they come here with lots and lots of confidence. There's a bit of added spice tonight. Former Pirates, Daniel Hume and Ben Basso return. How are the fans going to take to Basso? He controversially moved uh, over the winter. I'm not sure how the Pirates are going to take to him. At the end of the day, they were all wearing the Basso hats at the end of last year. But this is sport and this is Speedway. He now turns up for the Tigers tonight. Uh, Pirates have also had a little practice session uh, last night. So the guys have been tuning their setups. So that's a good thing for them. And uh, we'll see whether that makes any difference tonight. So the other, the other added thing is that Pirates came into the championship and maybe took a little more off the Glasgow stronghold. They had a couple of years where they bossed this, this league and Pirates came and took it over. So the spice is all there. Let's head over to the pits and see who we can find. So Pirates manager below. Well, wow, this is the one we all look for when the fixtures come out, isn't it? Yeah, it's tough one. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's one. I mean, hopefully we get full house tonight, but yeah, good team. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. I mean, we've had a couple of tough ones the last few weeks, so this is particularly tough. But isn't it better to have those this time of year? Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, it's great, isn't it? Good speed weather, it's dry, the track, the track looks good, uh, Terry's got plenty of water into it, so hopefully we get some good racing. Um, a preempt practice evening last night, what was that all about? Just really the starting, you know, we've been slipping up a bit from the start, you know, we, we get this sort of habit, we're playing catch-up after a couple of heats, and that's not what you want to be doing, so, um, yeah, they came down last night, had a couple of hours, just trying to get the start sorted, and so hopefully uh, that'll, that'll prove, prove good for, for us tonight. Cammy Brown's here, very, very confident tonight, nearly skipping around the pits a year is, and, uh, you know, he's, he's had 57 points twice this last month, so I suppose they come in with a lot of confidence. Yeah, of course they do, and, and, and any team would. I mean, we, we've done that for years, haven't we, come in confidence, and I think, you know, we, we certainly aren't lacking in confidence. I think we've just had a couple of blips the last couple of meetings, but, but yeah, we, we certainly, this is one we need to win. We, we've not been winning heat one, have we? And then that puts the pressure on the reserves in heat two. Mm, yeah, that's what I said. You know, we're playing catch up from the word go and, and you, you can't really be doing that. And so that, that's something we've, we've got to try and change. It's easier to leave from the front, surely, yeah. Yeah, of course it is. You know, obviously we've got Ben down at reserve now and, and, and Drew's up in the team. But um, Nathan had a good one uh, on the road the other day, scored a few points. Say so he's not here to score 10, you know, a couple of points and he's done his job. And heat two is, is the one where I really want him to be scoring, a, you know, a couple of points. Indeed. So tonight the track is going to be the same as the practice last night i presume that was the idea yeah hopefully i mean it was it wasn't a case of riding round and round and round last night it was just purely the starts which is where we've been slipping up uh you know at the starts of a few previous meetings so we just got to sort that out so well let's hope for a good start to the evening uh let's hope for a pirates win and um we'll all go home smiling yeah that's, a, that's the name of the game <laughs> thanks midlow cheers Scotty. so ben basso Back at the Pirates, but in different colours. <laughs> Left under strange circumstances to the fans. Um, how does it feel to be back? Um, to be fair, it feels... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Number one. <laughs> um, it feels good to be back. Um, I feel like the people around Poole um, is, uh, is already... Oh, they became friends to me uh, last season. Um, so I'm actually pretty, pretty happy to be back again. Um, and I've already said hi to most of them. So I'm, I'm actually feeling quite good. Well, to be honest, you were back here for a job last season, weren't you? It was the tail end of the season. The fans took to you. The Bassa hats were out. 
you, you might see a few Drew Kemp hats tonight because they've, they've gone for Drew Kemp now. You know the hat thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I might be able to spot one or two pirate hats, I think. But uh, yeah, the hats are probably gone. Um, but to be fair, I'm honestly just happy to see the fans again and, and everybody. So yeah. Look, this is how Speedway works. People have to remember that you have to make decisions as a sportsman to, to better your career and, and, and be where you feel comfortable. Because otherwise, if you're not riding where you're feeling comfortable or a new challenge, you're not going forward, are you? Nah, that's it. And uh, we actually had the, the talk last year, um, me and Dan, um, about me staying at pool. But it didn't really make sense to me with the Wednesday's meeting in, meetings in Denmark. Um, so my, my season would have been screwed a little bit, to be fair, um, because I had to be at two places at the same time, which wasn't possible. Um, so yeah, it's uh, sometimes you gotta pick, pick your own ways, and um, I did, and I'm actually quite happy to be at Glasgow as well. Right. So that's that out of the way. That's the fans know exactly what happened now. Now tonight's meeting, in at number four. Are you looking forward to it? I definitely am. Um, I'm going good at the moment. Um, actually, not making under 10 points, uh, so hopefully I can keep that up tonight. And um, I think if if uh, the team is in the right spot, uh, we have a pretty good chance at beating the Pirates tonight. Look, the Pirates' form has been indifferent at home. Do you come here as the opposition, knowing that and feeling you have, you know, everybody has a lift from from seeing that? Mm, I don't think we really pay that much attention. You know, we mostly just focus on ourselves and uh, how we can improve improve our performance. But um, we definitely feel comfortable after winning at Birmingham um, last week, last Wednesday. Uh, so I think the, the guys are fi guys are fired up tonight. Well, you haven't scored less than 57 points in the last two meetings. So if you wanted to set a stance down to the Pirates tonight to know that you're coming here to, to do business, then that was it really. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as I told you, you know, I'm, I'm getting more and more experience now. It's my f first full-time full season, um, so I'm just like a basically like a like a mushroom or something, just sucking all the experience right now. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited for tonight, mate. Well, good luck tonight. I'm sure you'll see some more smiling faces and some more friends. And uh, yeah, don't have too good a one from a mate to a mate. Yeah. Don't have too good a one for me <laughs> tonight. Good. Thanks, mate. Right. Cheers. So here we go, let's check up the team lineups for this evening. We'll start with the Glasgow Tigers. Craig Cook, he rides at number one. 35 year old Cumbrian, invincible at Ashfield. If Glasgow are to win, they need some more of that here at Wimborne Road. At number two, Daniel Hume, the former pirate, knows this Wimborne Road track very well. At number three, Eric Ostergaard. He's 41 now and brings experience to this Tigers side. At number four, Ben Basso, the Danish 21 year old. Part of the Pirates, dominating 2021 team, returns to Wimborne Road, trying to get one back over on them. At number five, Tom Brennan, the likeable British starlet, whose Tigers management said had his best away meeting last year here at Paul. At number six, Brock Nickel, the 24-year-old Californian, a surprise to be at reserve for me, but could he be Tigers trump card tonight? And at number seven, Connor Bailey, the 19-year-old Perth-born Aussie, adds a scoring power to the Tigers' bottom end at reserve berth. So, the Pirates at number one. Steve Worrell, he's back at number one. Can he come out and win that first all-important heat? At number two, Drew Kemp. A brace of four-point scores away from home uh, over the weekend. He'll be looking to add to that tonight. At number three, Danny King, looking far more comfortable back at number three. A big 13 points away from home for him at Berwick on Saturday. At number four, Zach Cook, still finding his feet at number four. Missed the practice day yesterday here through Polish commitments. At number five, Richard Lawson, still banging in with the points. Another big 10 points for him away at Berwick uh, last Saturday. And number six, Ben Cook, looks to be enjoying being back at reserve berth. Could he be a busy boy tonight for the Pirates? And at number seven, Nathan Ablett, three plus two for him at Edinburgh on Friday night. Paul has more hope, uh, more hope of that for him tonight. Our team managers for the Pirates are Neil Middleditch, and our team manager for the Glasgow Tylers, Cammy Brown. Man on centre green tonight, Rob Dyer. Ascending order or descending order, whichever way you want to look at it. First of all, riding at number seven is a young man who made his debut for Team GB last weekend in the uh, fixture against the rest of the world. Certainly on an upward path is Connor Bailey. Now, when I saw that this next guy was riding at reserve, I had to do a double take because we've seen him here and uh, win races on many occasions from the good old US of A, it's Brock Nichol. 
Riding at number five is Heat Leader for the visiting Tigers this evening. A World Cup winner with Team GB in 2021 and continuing to make rapid strides in the sport, Tom Brennan. Riding at number four tonight for the Tigers after his winter switch to Scotland, the man who made you so, we made him so very welcome last year. Let's do the same tonight for Benjamin Vassal. Skippering the Glasgow side tonight, now fully recovered from the awful injury that put pain to most of 2021 for him. It's the evergreen Ulrich Gostegaard. And at number two, another of our 2021 Championship Pirates who headed north in the winter, where his progress this year has been absolutely super to see. I know you'll be generous with your welcome for Daniel Hughes. <laughs> and finally, he's been the Tigers talisman at number one since 2018. He's a former GP rider and an ex-British champion. It can only be the one and only Craig Cook. Let's go to meet our men in blue and white, starting at number seven, where it's so good to see a battle in page five at Edinburgh last Friday. He's doing his very utmost for you every week. It's Nathan Adler. <laughs> a change of month and a change of shape for the Pirates in July. It sees this man get a chance to flex his muscles from the reserve berth. It's the battling Ben Cook. <laughs> Riding at number five, and as a former Glasgow rider, this fixture really does take on extra significance for our own Richard Lawson. <laughs> Ridley changing averages for July. Team manager Neil Middlebit shuffles the pack moving to the number four position tonight. Hot foot from a rain off in Poland yesterday, is Zach Cook. In the number three position, wasn't it a delight to see this man in action on Saturday night at Berwick, a mighty paid 14 and maximum points in heat number 15 at Shieldfield, with Richard Lawson, it's secure points for our skipper, Danny King. <laughs> Stepping up to the number two berth tonight after some improved results of late, and it's a great credit to the dedication of Drew Kemp. And finally, back where he started the season in the number one race jacket. They say cream rises to the top, just like our own Steve Worrell. <laughs> so we head to the coin toss. Paul Rick for the Tigers, Danny for the Pirates, and uh, Morris is going to spin the coin. Paul Rick calls ahead. Hands right on the white line there. Danny's going to choose in heat number 15. Ulrich's going to tell us what he's going to have in heat one. So, Paul win the toss. Johnny's chosen to take the gates in heat 15. Let's look at it from heat one. On the inside, in gate one in yellow, the former pirate, Danion Hume. In gate two, in blue, for the pirates is Drew Kemp. In gate three, in white for the Glasgow Tigers is Craig Cook and out in gate four in red for the Pirates is new number one Steve Worrell the fans here have been waiting for this all day our start marshal Rob Bottom trying to call the riders in there's a bit of gamesmanship going on here nobody wants to be the first one to go in Craig Cook goes in first, followed by Daniel Hume. Pirates boys then follow. Rob Wadham checking. 
All the riders are significant distance. He's happy. Our referee's happy in a way we go to the first turn. And it is tight, tight, tight. And it's Daniel Hume around the inside. He's got in the way of Grey Cook. And it's Drew Kemp around the outside, but he's left too much room there. So it's a Glasgow on a 5-1 in heat one from the start. Pirates were there at the start, but they just got out muscled in the first corner or two there. Daniel Hume out front, looking very quick and very good, and they're starting to drop the Pirates off for the Tigers duo. Cook doing a great job shielding Daniel Hume there. But at the moment, they're not under a great deal of pressure. It was a good corner there from Drew Kemp. But it's Worrell out at the back. So, as we come to the end of race one, it's yellow, white, blue, and red. 5-1, heat score to the Glasgow Tigers. So Daniel here, Daniel Hume here, wins for the Tigers. And so, as you can see, on screen confirmation of the heat one result there Daniel Hume wins it in yellow for the ti for the Tigers followed on by his partner Craig Cook in white third was Drew Kemp and at the back Steve Worrell so that score after one heat is one to the Pirates five to the Tigers so here we go your lineup for heat two in red off of gate one. It's the Pirates, Ben Cook. In gate two, in white for the Glasgow Tigers is Brock Nickel. In gate three, in blue is Nathan Ablett for the Pirates. And in gate four, in yellow for the Tigers is Connor Bailey. We are missing Nigel Leahy tonight on the centre green. Get well soon, Nigel. So the boys come in. On the compact lift services. Sponsored heat two. Our start marshal's ready. The guys are away, and away they go. It's a slow car from Nickel. It's Ben Cook out front. And it looks like Ablett's gone with him. Ablett's gone with him, but he's left the gap up the inside. Nichols tried to come up the inside. Ablett's tried to block him off. It's drifted a little bit wide, but now he's got a chase. It's good stuff now, all the action here in two, three, and four. The fans wanting Ablett to stay there in third. It's Ben Cook out front. He's gone in red. He doesn't know what's going on behind him. Ablett's hanging in there. He's under all sorts of pressure from Connor Bailey behind. He's just got to start stringing good corners together to hold his position. Keep turning that throttle, son. Come on. It is tight at the back. The whole race is at the back. The crowd are going crazy for a point here. The crowd are going crazy over a point. Ablett holding on. Is he going to hold on? Yes, he is. It was red, white, blue, yellow. I think it's the biggest cheer I've ever heard for a third place. Well done, Nathan Ablett. It's a 4-2 heat score in favour of the Pirates. There's the confirmation of your heat result. Ben Cook wins it in red. Second was Brock Nickel in white for the Tigers. Third in blue, that all-important point for Nathan Ablett. And fourth was Connor Bailey in yellow. So the heat score was a 4-2 to the Pirates, as I've said. Match score now after heat two. Five to the Pirates, seven to the Tigers. And here we go. There's Ablett there, got a little out of shape and drifted wide. Stopped Connor Bailey's run, but he didn't stop Nichols' run on the inside. Got a little bit choppy on the outside there for him, Ablett, and then that let Nichols through. 
And here's our riders round at the line. On the inside, in white, for the Glasgow Tigers is Ulrich Eustegar, the captain. In gate two, in blue, is Zach Cook for the Pirates. In gate three, in yellow, Ben Basso. And in gate four, in red, Pirates captain Danny King. Basso still digging. He's jumped on his bike, dropped the clutch. Wasn't happy with the, the purchase, so he's jumped off again and did a bit more gardening. Zach's in it, takes ready to go in blue. So, Rob, our star marshal, is ready. The tapes go up and away we go. And it's a good start from us, the guard and Basso. But around the outside comes Danny King. Around the inside comes Zach Cook. And around the outside again comes Danny King in red. Ustergaard looks over his shoulder. Has he got enough? No, he has not. The Pirates captain has just blown by him like he stood still. And it's now Zach Cook in second place. And the Pirates on a 4-2. Ustergaard there spun up on the tip pit turn. And then let Zach Cook come closer, but Basso's not done here either. Basso will not give this up. What a meeting we're having here so far. Passing moves from Nickel. Passing moves from Danny King. Basso now got a problem at the back. He's done. But Danny King is not done in red. As he comes to take the checkered flag, it's Danny King from white, from blue, red, white, blue. And Basso does come round to finish. And as you can hear. It's a 4-2 heat score to the Pirates. Taking the match score after heat three to nine apiece. And here's the confirmation of your match score, your race result, sorry. It's Danny King in red, he wins it. In white is Ulrich Ustergaard for the Tigers. In blue was Zach Cook for the Pirates. And at the back in yellow was Ben Basso. So as I've said, match score after race three, nine apiece. What a start there from Ulrich Ustergaard. And it looked like nobody was in the race. Basso got caught mid-track there. Passed on the outside by Danny King, who then just took the drive from turn two down into turn three. So here we go. On the inside, in gate one in yellow for the Tigers is Connor Bailey. In gate two, in blue for the Pirates is Nathan Ablett. In gate three, in white for the Glasgow Tigers, the likeable Tom Brennan. And in gate four, in red, is Richard Lawson for the Pirates. And I think we all know that if the Pirates have any chance of making the second position in the championship, this is a must-win meeting. we go on four and it's a good start from Lawson on the outside Brennan picks up it's Ablett in third it's Colin Bailey at the back again he had a problem at the start but Lawson went from gate four right round the outside it did look that Brennan had the speed on him but he just lifted off a of turn two on lap one did Brennan in white but he's now on it now and Lawson's not going to get away with this. We've got two races in one here. We've now got Connor Bailey chasing Ablett at the back. And we've now got Tom Brennan hard on the heels of Richard Lawson. So with one lap to go, the Pirates are sat in a fourth position. On the inside is Connor Bailey. He's cut off by Ablett. Ablett needs to stay tight there on the bottom corner and need no gap. He's left no gap. It's a win. It's a win. 
for <laughs> Richard Lawson, but everybody's watching the tussle at the back between the two reserves. It was red, white, blue, and yellow. It was how they came home. There's the confirmation of your heat result. Winner in red, Richard Lawson. Second place in white, Tom Brennan for the Tigers, third place, another important third place for Nathan Ablett in blue and yellow at the back, Connor Blaley. So, it was a 4-2 heat score to the Pirates, the third in a row of 4-2s, taking the match score after heat four, 13 to the Pirates, 11 to the Glasgow Tigers. To have Heat 5 sponsored by Trithowans. And here we go at gate one in red is the pool captain, Dana King. He won his first heat out in gate two. In yellow is Danyon Hume for the Tigers. He won his first heat out, nearly said for the Pirates. I've got to get out of that habit. In gate three in red is Zach Cook for the Pirates. In blue, sorry, and gate four is Craig Cook in white for the Tigers. So the boys doing their last minute preparations on the start. Rob Wadham, our start marshal, is asking the guys to come in. The two guys in the middle come in, the two more experienced guys are coming in last. Look at the angle Craig Cook set up, he's heading to the inside. It's heat five and away we go. Oh, it's all got tight. Danny King's made it off the inside. Zach Cook slid through, but it's Danyon Hume and Craig Cook. And, but Cook, he's got a bit slippery and Zach Cook is up the inside of Craig Cook. Now Craig Cook has returned the, the gesture. S bit slippery there on the water. In turn three, early doors, but it's Danny King out front. Cord Zach Cook having to put the brakes on there going into turn one, early hit. Craig Cook, no relation from the Glasgow Tigers in third. Danny on to Hume, Hume looks over his shoulder. We're looking at the first 3-3 three, three of the evening, bar mechanical failure. But it's Danny King, long gone out front. He wins in red for the Pirates. In second, in yellow, is Dallon Hume. And in third, in white, it's Craig Cook. So it's red, yellow, white, and blue. It's a three all. It's the heat score. Taking the match score after heat five. 16 to the Pirates, 14 to the Tigers. And there's your heat result confirmed. A win for Danny King in red. Second, Daniel Hume in yellow for the Tigers. Third, Craig Cook. Nurse Daniel Hume home there a little bit in white. And at the back in blue, Zach Cook for the Pirates. Your match score again after heat five. 16 to the Pirates. 14 to the Tigers. It's all still very, very tight as we go in to heat Six. 60.72 there with race time for Danny King. And here we see some action there. Craig Cook slid out wide there on turn one and then nearly spun round on turn two. Zach Cook stayed low and got past, but he then left Cookie a gap going into turn one. And he openly took the invite. Here we go, it's heat six. And on the inside in white for the Glasgow Tigers is Tom Brennan in gate two in red. A last top, lot of first heat in for Steve Worrell, but he's back out in red. In gate three in yellow for the Glasgow Tigers is the reserve Brock Nickel. And in gate four in blue is Drew Kemp. So, the jiggery pokery all over. Everybody's ready to start. The green light's on, the tapes go up, it's seat six. And it's a good start from Steve Worrell. He gets over the top of Tom Brennan. And coming round the outside is Drew Kemp. 
It's Brock Nickel at the back. But it's Worrell now holding a tighter line. Brennan looks the quicker. If I'm honest, Brennan in white looks a bit quicker than Worrell. But they're both riding an inside line there, which is a bit dry. And now Brennan's going wide, wide, wide. And he's slipped and made a mistake. And that's left through Kemp. In blue for the Pirates come up the inside. You have to say that was a slight mistake from Tom Brennan, but he's now quick. And he's now back on the tail of Drew Kemp. It's one lap to go. The Pirates are in a 5-1 position. Rather fortunately, to be fair, from the Brennan mistake. Brennan is now all over. Drew Kemp, he's gone out there to try again, but he hasn't come forward. He's gone backwards and Brock Nichols passed him. It's red, blue, yellow and white as they come over the line. It's a 5-1 heat score and a maximum race advantage for the Pirates to win for Steve Worrell. And a good win. It was from the tapes. I have to say, Don Brennan looked to pressure him early doors. The crowd going crazy here for Worrell. That was a big, big result. Here's our race result. Confirmation in first is Steve Worrell in red. Second in blue, Drew Kemp, a 5-1 to the Pirates. Third is Brock Nickel in the end as Tom Brennan went wide in, in white. So, 5-1 heat score to the Pirates. Taking the match score on to 21 to the Pirates. 15 to the Tigers. But here we go. Here are our riders in gate one for the Pirates. Winner last time out is Richard Lawson in red. In gate two, in white, is Ulrich Ustergaard. He had a second place last time out. In gate three, in blue for the Pirates, the reserve at number six, Ben Cook. He had a win last time out. And of course, Ben Basso in yellow, out on gate four for the Tigers. Struggled a bit in his first heat. Looks like he's on a new bike to me. That looks a cleaner bike than he was on earlier, so I think Basso has swapped bikes from his previous heat. So the boys are coming in. As, we, as I said to you, it was a bit blustery earlier. We've got the stick now on the cone in the middle of the start. Keep the tape still. Green lights are on, away we go. And it's a fantastic start from Ustergaard. He had a super start earlier. Basso now going around the outside of Ben Cook. So it's looking like a 4-2 at the moment to the Tigers. And you have to say, Ustergaard trapped that pretty quickly, as he did in his previous heat, but he got past mid-track. Lawson trying to wide a line now, and hoping the track's dried a little. Bit processional from the front three. Ben Cook is trying the wider line at the back, but he's making no inroads. Lawson there grabbing heaps up on us to guard. He's now trying to cut under him on turn four. Ustergaard is begging his bike to go quicker. Chops the nose off of Lawson there. Lawson really is quick out of turn two. But it looks like it's going to be a winning white for Ustergaard. It's white, red, yellow and blue. Well, the Tigers strike back that time and uh, the way I've watched the experience campaigner all across the guard. It's a 4-2 heat score in favour of the Tigers. Taking the match score after heat 7. 23 to the Pirates, 19-2 the Tigers and there's your heat seven result confirmation I've been through it there we go here we go it's in gate one in blue is Ben Cook as a rider replacement for Nathan Ablett in gate two in yellow is Connor Bailey for the Tigers in gate three is Drew Kemp for the Pirates and out in gate four in white former Pirate but now a Tiger Daniel Hume. So 
go. Here we go. Heat 8 is underway. And away we go into turn one. Cook has made the start and Kemp has gone with him. But what a move around the outside from Daniel Hume. That shows his confidence at the moment. Five points tonight for him so far. But ben Cook is chasing him, but out front is Drew Kemp. Daniel Hume in second for the Tigers in white. Ben Cook doing all he knows to try and get on level terms. And in yellow at the back, it's Connor Bailey. Hume drifts wide a bit there and Cook was able to close up. But Hume looks quick. He's now trying to make a move on Drew Kemp. Kemp staying on the slick stuff on the inside. Daniel Hume, I'm sure, will go wide here and try and get a straight line on him. Kemp looks over, is waiting for him. He must be able to hear him there. But as we come to the line, it's one big last try from Daniel Hume. Cook, he tries to get up the inside, but it's red, white, blue, yellow. It is red, white, blue, and yellow. It's a 4-2 heat score to the Pirates. Another heat advantage. Taking the match score after heat eight to 27 to the Pirates, 21 to the Tigers. There's your heat eight confirmation of the result. Drew Kemp out there in red, he won it for the Pirates. In second in white, a hard charge in Daniel Hume. In third in blue was Ben Cook, an important point there. And in fourth was Connor Bailey in yellow. Tactical switch there from manager Midlow. It got him a point. So there we go, it was a win for Drew Kemp, and here we go off the tapes. And he trapped it and really went. The two Pirates boys, as you can see, got there first. Heat 9, sponsored by Bell's Decor. There it is on your screen. In gate 1 in blue for the Pirates is Zach Cook. In gate 2 for the Tigers in white is Tom Brennan. In gate three, in red, for the Pirates is Danny King, Captain Danny King. And in yellow, in, in gate four, in yellow, sorry, is Craig Cook as a tactical sub. Don't want the meeting getting away from you if you wait another, if you wait another race, you know, you could be another two points behind and eight points behind or even more. And then maybe you've missed your chance to, to make any inroads into that score. So a good move from Canny Brown here. Sensible move from the manager. So here we are. It's heat nine. The takes are up and away we go. And I've got to say, Cookie has missed the gate totally, but he's doing a big cut back up the inside, which was blocked by Zach Cook. Tom Brennan has got over the top of Zach Cook. Craig Cook is now trying to come around the outside. He's now come up the inside on the clean side of the track and made a great move. So he's turned a terrible start into what has turned out to be a 5-1 position to the Tigers. That's clever stuff there from Craig Cook in yellow. And now Cammy Brown is stood in that pit saying, I told you so, that was the right move. Here comes Danny King to try and do something about it. But it looks like the Tigers boys are out one and two. And look to be away. There's one lap left to go. But I would suggest barring mechanical issues. The Tigers have made big inroads into making a dent in this lead. As they come over the line, it's white, yellow, red, blue. White, yellow. Red and blue. It's 5 1 heat score in favour of the Tigers. Taking the match score after heat eight, uh, heat nine to 28 to the Pirates, 26 to the Tigers. And here's your heat result. The winner in white was Tom Brennan. And second, his partner Craig Cook followed him home in yellow Danny King in third for the Pirates in red and uh, at the back Zach Cook in blue
60.50 was the time for Brennan. And now you can see Zach Cook did get up the inside. But that is nose chopped off there by Brennan. He stopped his run. And then Craig Cook went wide and cut back up the inside on the fresh bit of track over gate two. And that gave him, propelled him. And here's the lineup for Heat 10. Sponsored by Pirate Cast. On the inside, in blue, is Drew Kemp for the Pirates. In gate two, in yellow, is Ben Basso. Had an indifferent night, Ben Basso, tonight. In gate three, in red, is Steve Worrell for the Pirates. And out in gate four is the fast start in Ulrich Ustergaard in white. He made a fast start, his last out in, and cleared off. So, this is his last scheduled ride in blue. At heat 10. Then Basso giving himself a punch in the head there to wind himself up. So, our start marshal is ready. The tapes go up and away we go, and it's a brilliant start from Steve Worrell in red. Trying to split them as Ustergaard. And he has split them. Drew Kemp there in blue. Basso looking to make a move around the outside. But it's Steve Worrell out front. Drew Kemp now looking at Ustergaard. But Basso is looking for the big run around the outside. We've seen him do that here before. And he's managed it. So he takes third place off of Drew Kemp. Drew Kemp drifts a little wider to try and find some dirt. But it's Worrell out front. The race here is at the back. Can Drew Kemp get back on terms with Basso and make a pass? He's running out of time. He has one lap to go. But it's Worrell out front for the Pirates. But these tight meetings, it's all about those one points at the back. And this time round, it goes to the Tigers. It's red, white, yellow and blue. Red, white, yellow and blue. It's a three-all heat score. Is the result of heat 10. Taking the match score after heat 10 to 31 to the Pirates. 29 to the Tigers. The Pirates number one come round. Here's the result then. Confirmation. The winner is Steve Borrell in red. Second, Ulrich Ostergaard for the Tigers in yellow. In white. Third in yellow, Ben Basso grabs the important point there. In, and then it's Drew Kemp at the back in blue. Real heat score. And 31 to the Pirates. 29 to the Tigers. The match score after heat 10. 65-7. Therefore, Steve Worrell is his winning time. So the times now even themselves out. Tom Brennan's winning time. The, hat, the race before was 60.50. So, but here we go. This is the Basso move. He went wide, wide. We've seen him do this before here at Paul at the end of last season. Nipped around the outside. Nearly ran out of room there at the pit gate, but he made the pass stick. And here's our lineup. It's Greg Cook in white. He's on his way to the tapes. He won. He was part of that winning 5 1 last time out. So he's off a of gate one in white. In gate two is Richard Lawson in red for the Pirates. In gate three, Daniel Hume. He's having a good night in yellow for the Tigers. And in gate four in blue is Ben Cook for the Pirates. So everybody's in. Cook comes in last. So here we go, it's heat 11 and away we go and it looks like a good start from Lawson and coming round the outside is Ben Cook, he grabs a big bit of drive, it's the Pirates on a 5-1, now Cook will be doing something about this, Craig Cook in white will be looking to do something, Daniel Hume has now just come by Cook, Craig Cook he made a mistake back there, but it's now eyes in the back of your head time for Richard Lawson in red because Craig Cook will not be giving this up in a hurry. 
Does he have enough to get round the outside? Is there enough material out there? Lawson now takes a different line. It's Ben Cook out front. He's oblivious to this race here between second and third. Craig Cook is going at every line he can. But he can't seem to get on terms with Richard Lawson. So as they come to the line, the Pirates fans go crazy. It's blue, red, white and yellow. Blue, red, white and yellow. It's a 5-1 maximum heat score to the Pirates. What a crucial time in this meeting to do it at heat 11. It takes the match score after heat 11 to 36 to the Pirates. 30 to the Tigers. It stretches the lead to a six-point lead. Some beautiful wheelies there from the Pirates boys. But a 5-1 heat score. Here's the confirmation of your result. It was Ben Cook flying around the outside of turn one in blue. He wins it in red. It was Richard Lawson. He tucked tight and kept Craig okay, Cook pen to the line the in second. In, in I thought, Your yes, it was Cook in third, and it was Daniel Hume coming in in yellow at the back. A big 5 1 for the Pirates. 60.62. The race times are all very similar. Cook really came in hard there and, and he's just overcooked it. He has just overcooked it. I didn't notice that at the time. Pardon the pun, it's not supposed to be. Here we go. The riders are at tapes for P12, sponsored. Like Crescent Motorcycles. Paul Denning and the guys out of Verwood. All your biking needs now. Here we go. It's on gate one in yellow for the Tigers. It's Brock Nickel. In gate two in red for the Pirates is Captain Danny King. In gate three in white is Ulrich Ustergaard for the Tigers. And in gate four is Nathan Ablett in blue for the Pirates. So the boys are all in now in tapes. Colin, our start marshal, when he raises his hands, that means he's all good and ready. The green lights come on. Our referee's ready. The heat 12 is underway. Danny King's got there first. He looked over his shoulder to see where his partner was, but his partner wasn't there. And up the inside was coming Ustergaard in white. Danny King's drifted a little wide there. Brock Nickel in third. And it's Nathan Abler at the back, and he's having a little chew at Nickel there now. I'll bet Nickel will go tight on that corner next time round. Ablett's really going for it at the back, but it's Danny King out front. He's gone. Nickel really doesn't look tidy in third place. Ablett's just got to keep him on it and keep him honest in blue. Ustergaard nearly made it from the start, but it was a very fast start in Danny King that got there to the turn and bossed it. So, probably a little processional there, Heat 12, but it's a win in red. Then yellow in second, uh, white in second, yellow in third. And blue coming in at the back. So... It's a three-all heat score after heat 12. Taking the match score after heat 12 to 39 to the Pirates. 33 to the Glasgow Tigers. Here's confirmation of your heat 12 result. It's Danny King in red. He wins it. In yellow was Ulrich Ustergaard, captain for the Tigers in second in third in yellow was Brock Nickel and at the back this time round Nathan Ablett in blue right, there we go. so there's a confirmation and there's a confirmation of the match score just six points in it still 39 to the Pirates 33 to the Glasgow Tigers
Three heats to go. And we all know that heat 13 is the big one. 60.50 there for Danny King. 65-0. Heat 13. Sponsored by the Riders Equipment Fund. In gate one, in red, will be Steve Worrell for the Pirates. In gate two, in white, will be Craig Cook for the Glasgow Tigers. In gate three, in blue, is Richard Lawson for the Pirates. And out in gate four, in yellow, will be Tom Brennan for the Tigers. So... So here we go. It's tense. Just six points in this meeting. Three heats to go. Takes her up and away. And it looked a good start from Cookie, but on the inside, Worrell has pushed Cookie wide and Lawson has come from the outside. He got squeezed a little on the first turn, Lawson, but he kept it pinned and came out in front. It's a 5-1 looking position so far for the Pirates, but Cookie again is trying his backside off in white. He never gives up. He doesn't know the meaning of the word that the Tigers create Cook. He never gives up. Lawson's away at the front, leaving Worrell to fend for himself a little. But Worrell has the experience to handle it. There is just the one lap to go. It's Brennan at the back. An unusual position for him this year. And this season. But it's a 5-1 to the Pirates. It's blue, red, white and yellow. Blue, red, white and yellow. The crowd go bananas. It's a 5-1 heat score to the Pirates taking the match score after heat 13 to 44 to the Pirates 34 to the Tigers here is the confirmation of your heat 13 result it was a win in blue for Richard Lawson in second his partner in red was Stevie Worrell in third in white was Craig Cook for the Glasgow Tigers and at the back in yellow was Tom Brennan 5-1 heat score Take, giving the Pirates a 10 point lead it's now 44 to 34 the Pirates have just won the meeting barring mechanical failures here's the start Stevie Worrell had his front wheel right up on the grass. Here we go in gate one. In white is Ben Basso for the Tigers. Poor night for him. I'm sure he was expecting more from here tonight. In gate two in blue is Ben Cook for the Pirates. In gate three in yellow is Brock Nickel. A reserve change for the Glasgow Tigers. And in gate four in red is Zach Cook for the Pirates. It's Cook and Cook for the Pirates. It's Basso and Nickel for the Tigers. And here we go. It's Heat 14. Nickel goes through the tapes. Tried to anticipate the tapes and didn't quite make it. They wrap around his front. We'll just have a little look again and see what happens. Here's the front view. Yeah, Nickel went before all others. So here we go in gate one in white. Just a reminder, Ben Basso for the Tigers in gate two. Here's Ben Cook for the Pirates in gate three. Brock Nickel off of 15 metres. You can see him starting way, way back there in yellow and off of gate four. In red, 
Zach Cook for the Pirates. Here we go then. It's heat 14. Away we go. And of course you have to avoid the marshal there, but Basso's made a good start. And now it's Zach Cook taking chase. Basso, a little tentative going into turn three. He's really being chased by Cook. Cook then tried to go up the inside. Basso shuts the door. He's really leaning on him. It's definitely Zach Cook looks quicker than Basso at this particular moment in time. Basso holding a tight line. Zach Cook really working him. Nearly hit him there. Had to sort of lock it up to slow himself headed into him but as we come to the final lap it's still Basso out front in white Nickel at the back has caught up to the tail end of Ben Cook doesn't seem to be causing him any problems Basso stayed tight there to the line and held the line on the groove it's white, red, blue and yellow white, red Blue and yellow is the result. A race win for Ben Basso. His first one of the evening. It's a three-all heat scorer. We don't have many of those this evening. Confirmation on the screen, it's Ben Basso in white. He wins it in Zach Cook in red. He's second all over Basso in third. In blue was Ben Cook. And at the back, Brock Nickel in yellow. 61 second heat. We haven't had one of them since heat eight. Shows that Basso was not on the pace this evening, even though he had his waist win. Heat 15, sponsored by Moorish Homes. And on the inside, in gate one, is Steve Worrell in red. In gate two, in white is Ulrich Ustagar for the Tigers. In gate three is Richard Lawson in blue for the Pirates. And in gate four, in yellow, is Craig Cook for the Tigers. It's unusual for Cook. Craig Cook, he's not what he is. work wonders for the setups but here we go it's the final heat of the night it's hits 15 away we go the tapes are up Worrell's made it off of one and it looks like Lawson's gone off of three and now they're looking for each other similar to where they were in heat 13 they're gonna have to work this together Lawson's riding a wider line than Worrell, but he's left him a little bit, which leaves Worrell exposed on the outside. I think Worrell's going to have to fend for himself a little here. Lawson's looking over his shoulder for him. Cook has gone by Worrell on the wider line. Cook has gone by Worrell. It's a great move from Cook. Lawson has now seen who's coming, and he's now just got his head down and disappearing and riding his line that he needs to ride. Ustergaard now starting to trouble Worrell at the back. But it's no fear from Lawson. He's out front. And he's going to bring the win home for the Pirates. It's blue, yellow, red, white. Blue, yellow, red and white. We end the evening on a 4-2 heat score to the Pirates. Taking the final match score this evening, 251 to the Pirates and 39 to the Travelling Tigers. A more than happy crowd here. We'll leave Wimborne Road. So there we are, that's 
with that Pirates win tonight, there's the confirmation of the heat score and the heat result. It was a win for Richard Lawson in blue, second for the hard-charging Craig Cook in yellow. He never gave up all night. Third was Stevie Worrell in red for the Pirates, and at the back in white was Ulrich Ostergaard, captain of the Tigers. Confirmation of the 4-2 heat result, and there, confirmation of the win in your top left-hand corner. 51 to the Pirates, 39 to the Tigers. But I'm sure there were some very, very nervous Pirates fans coming into this evening. And what a good meeting that was. It only stretched out there over the last couple of heats. The Tigers were in it all the way till about heat 11 or 12, and then it started to change. The last couple of heats were the difference, a 5-1, a 3, 3 and a 4-2. But there it is. That's how we end tonight. That's the confirmation of the score, 51 to 39 to the Pirates. They catch up the Tigers in the table as the happy fans leave Wimborne Road with a little bit of relief, I'm sure, but happy. And it's goodbye from me, Scott Mitchell, your commentator for this evening. It's goodbye from all our camera crew, Paul and Rob. And it's goodbye to our technical production team down in the dungeon. Our producer and director, Andy Haig, and his support, Max Davis. Happy birthday, Max. Have a great night tomorrow night when you go out. It's over and out from us from Pirates TV here at Wimborne Road. We'll see you again soon.